So I'm going to show you a few different ways on how you can submit assignments depending on the type of assignment your teacher is assigning to you. So I have a course here in Canvas and I'm in the Canvas app. I'm going to go to my to-do list and you'll notice I have a few assignments coming up here that are due tomorrow. Um, and there's three different types of assignments to show you. So the first one I want to show you is an assignment called a PDF assignment using annotation. So sometimes what a teacher will do is they will have a PDF file as part of the assignment. You'll know that because it'll end in .pdf most likely. And when you click on it, it will actually open up in the uh, Canvas app. And I'll be able to view it and read through it, etc. And this could be a worksheet or something where you have to answer some questions or, um, you know, something along those lines. So in this option, in the upper right hand corner, there is actually a little marker tool here, and that is an annotation tool. And when I click on that, it's going to give me a toolbar of different annotation tools that I can use to annotate with. So if I look up here at the top, the first tool is actually a highlighter tool. Um, and if I press and hold down on it, there's actually some other ways that I can uh, select text as well. I can strike through or squiggle under it or underline it. And all I would do is I would simply find some text in here with that tool selected and click and drag and it would highlight that text. Um, this option here below that with the T gives me the ability to add a text box. So if I were to simply click somewhere, um, it will give me a box that I could type text directly into if I need to. Uh, these next tools are for drawing. So this tool here is a drawing tool that allows me to draw uh, anywhere I want in my document. Um, the one below that does the same thing uh, except with highlighters. And then this last one is another uh, drawing tool. Sometimes this top one will give you a white background when you draw something. It'll be uh, have a white background behind it. Uh, this one does not. I have a racer tool, which is self-explanatory. I have an arrow tool here, which allows me to draw arrows um, from one thing to the next just by clicking and dragging. Um, I can again hold down and there's also options for other shapes to be able to do in here as well. And then the last tool here is a link tool and this allows me to actually uh, highlight something and type in a web link on what I wanted to go to. Now when I'm finished with this assignment, I have a couple options. I can either hit my share arrow in the upper right hand corner and I can simply choose the Canvas student app. And it should remember the actually name of assignment and course that I'm in because I've actually opened it within that assignment. And I could go ahead and click submit to su submit that. Or depending on the type of assignment, I may also be able to go back and hit submit assignment here. Uh, but it depends on the type of assignment the teacher has set up for you. If it asks you to upload or um, something along those lines, then you're going to have to do it the other way. So the next type of assignment you may be asked to do is a Google assignment. Um, so I have a Google file assignment here, and this one actually has two different Google files in it. Uh, it may simply be a link to a file like this, or it may be something where it says to launch an external tool. So I'm going to go ahead and click on launch external tool. Now, depending on the type of file, um, you may get a pencil that you have to click on to edit that file. Um, Google Slides actually has it under the um, little gear here. There's an open editor button here. This opens up the editor that allows me to be able to make changes to this assignment. So I can simply go through uh, and go through and make whatever changes that I want. And once I'm done with those changes, what I need to make sure that I do when I'm finished is there is a checkbox in the upper left hand corner. Um, on docs, I believe it's a blue check mark. Uh, on slides, it's just a uh, gray or black check mark. But when I am finished making whatever changes I'm making, I need to click on that check mark to tell it that I'm finished editing. So once I turn that check mark off, I should lose all of my editing tools and it tells me, hey, yeah, you are now done with whatever changes that it is that you've made. Now I can go back to Canvas. And again, if I wanted to verify that this is the right one and it's updated, I could go ahead and click on it, make sure it has my changes. Um, and then when I hit done, now I can go ahead and tell it to submit that assignment. Now the final type of assignment that you may get asked to do 
uh, is a simple file upload assignment where you may be told to turn something in, but there is no link or PDF or anything that they're going to give you to start with. So in order to do this, what I need to do is I need to, first of all, go to the app that I'm going to use to create this file. Uh, and then I need to finish my project, whether it's a Google presentation or whether it's a keynote or maybe it's a movie or a clips project. Uh, and then when I'm finished with it, I need to send it one of two places. I need to either get it into my photo library or I need to save it in my files app. And I'll show you why here in a second. So for example, let's say I'm in iMovie and I've made this movie project and I've finished it and it's great. It's exactly what I want. So here is my movie. And when I'm done with it and I've finished making my project, there is a share option here. So when I hit share, there's a couple options here. I can share directly to the student app, um, but what iMovie and Clips and uh, voice memos and some of these media apps uh, do is those files are very large and a lot of times try sending them directly to the student app. Something gets mixed up along the way or maybe your iPad goes to sleep and it never finishes that job. So what I would recommend that you do is that you export or share these projects as videos or audio files and save them right to either your files app uh, or your um, photos app by just telling it to save this video. So this is a movie project. I can tell it to save this video and now it's going to export this movie and it's gonna save it directly into my photo library. Now from there, once it's done that step, when I'm ready to turn that in, I can do a couple different things. I can either go into my Canvas app and when I go to submit that assignment, I tell it to submit. There's an option for file upload. And it's going to ask me, where do I want to upload this from? Camera would simply take a picture with my camera, which isn't going to work. Uh, this button here is for photo library. So when I click on this, this is going to show me my, my photo library. Here is my movie that I have exported. Uh, it's right there. I can just tell it to use it and it'll upload it and let me submit it uh, directly in here that way. Uh, the other option I have is there's an option here for the files app. The files app is literally the app that looks like a file folder. Uh, I keep mine in my doc here. This files app has the ability to save things in a variety of different places. Um, and you can save pages, keynote, number files, um, a lot of different varieties of files you can choose to save by sharing directly to um, that files app. And that also makes sure that if something should ever happen and you need to go back and get it, that file sitting in that files app and you don't have to worry about the fact that it got lost somewhere uh, when you were uploading it. So again, it works the same way. I can go into here. I can simply choose the file from my files app. Um, I have my Google Drive connected to here too. Uh, so it'll open up Google Drive files, but it'll upload it. It'll show up in here and then I can go ahead and tap submit. Make sure you get the message telling you it's been successfully submitted and then you're good to go. If you need to make uh, additional submissions, if your teacher allows multiple submissions, uh, you can also go down and resubmit assignments if you want. Now, the other way that you could do assignments, turning things in uh, with a file upload is if you opened up uh, either the, Mo the Photos app or the Files app on its own first. So if I opened up um, something in one of these apps, I could open it up first. Uh, and then once I've opened up that file, then I could go ahead uh, and submit it. So if I have a PDF file here or whatever it is that I have, I could go ahead and hit the share arrow and I can share it right to my student app. Now, if my student app doesn't show up in my share sheet, I can go over here to the right and go to more and it'll show up as an option. If I go to edit, I can choose to make sure that it is turned on. So in my case, I have to make sure that I have the share app turned on. And then you can even use the plus sign here to add this to the top. So it shows up right at the beginning uh, of your uh, share options every single time. So I hit done. And then again, here is my share option right to student. And when I choose that, it'll then ask me, choose the course and choose the assignment name that I want to submit it to 
and then hit submit. But again, either way, I already have this file in my files app. It's always here. If a teacher says they didn't get it, or if you'll notice that there's a zero listed in that assignment, or it shows nothing has been submitted, you always still have that file on your computer in either your files app or in your photo library that you can always go back and uh, so resubmit it from if you need to. So those are a few different ways that you can submit things or submit assignments, uh, which will hopefully make things a little bit easier for you.